Whoa, what do we got here? What do we have? Oh, big smallie. Oh, look at the size of this thing. videos are going to be a little bit different here. We are taking the Lake Express about to go out the South Gap in Milwaukee. My dad and I got the Hobie kayaks down below in our car. Welcome to the fourth installment of the father-son trip around Lake Michigan kayaking and this is going to be the most scenic spot. We're up in the Menominee River and this spot is going to be pretty cool because we can actually kayak up and down the river. There's not too many rapids, not too many dams in the way. Never fished this area before. I'm going to be using primarily fly rods. I'm going to try to go at them with some poppers and streamers and see what kind of bass are in here and whatever else is hungry. Another cool thing about this is we're camping right up on the river. So let's go catch them. And just like that, we're in. I'm gonna use the back change as an anchor today, as well as a spot lock on the motor guide. Definitely got current, definitely got rocks, and she floats. All right, my dad's gonna eat a little lunch here first and uh, join me, but ooh, there is definitely enough current. And look at this depth dropping off. We're at six feet here, seven feet right offshore, but anyway, I'm gonna work my way upstream and then drift down, so. Before I get the fly rods out, I'm just gonna use weightless Senko, cast into some of the pockets on the side where there's not as much current. Maybe pick up a fish on the way upstream. All right, first cast. Just switched over to a bright colored spinner bait that's uh, very stained water up here and it drops off so darn fast here to seven, eight feet right on this shore. So I figured I'm gonna put a heavy one ounce spinner bait on. Oh, and they got some weed growth here too. Look at that. Here we go. Didn't have a single bite on this side of the river and it was real shallow, just like two feet deep. And I worked my way over to this side and noticed that it was a lot deeper, six feet this close to the shore. So I'm thinking that bank, everything looks like a steeper drop off. Hopefully we got some fish that are congregating on this side as the deeper side. Looks like some nice steep rocks over here. So this might be the trend where it's a little deeper, a little more fish. Can't get any less than where it was on that side with zero bites. Right in the shade, right there. Oh, there was a hit. There was a hit, there we go. Our first hit. Switch back over to the Senko and I'm gonna cast to where those hits were, see if I can get something that was a little lazier, that wasn't able to make contact with that spinner bait and they'll be able to suck in this Senko a little better. Oh, there he is. Little pike, little pike. <laughs> well, that's what hit the spinner bait, probably because he couldn't fit it in his mouth. First Menominee River fish, not the ones we're here for, but uh, you know, I'll take it. We're not skunked. See ya. Just pulled a Ned rig out and gotta love a Ned rig. Got him, got him, what do we got here? What do we got here? This could be a, oh, it's a Northern. I don't know if it was a good hook set. <clears throat> All right, screaming drag, love that. I'm just babying him, I think I got a good hook set here. Yep, I did. Our first better sized fish from Menominee River. There we go. On the Long Lake Custom Tackle Ned Rig Jig. Not huge, but a lot bigger than that first one. Pike number two going in. I just got a 24 inch northern, how about you? Way to go. I got a backlash from hell on my braided line, so I'm changing spools now. Is that your biggest catch so far? It's the biggest backlash I've ever had. Congratulations. Nice little creek coming in. Ooh, stump. Probably some colder water right below that. There we go. Okay. Wow. 
Oh, nice, nice, nice. And he took the Long Lake Custom Tackle spinner bait. And I got him pretty close up right away, so I'm just gonna grab him here. Oh, we got him. And we lost him. And we got him. And we lost him. Come on. <laughs> and we got him. Yeah, he's nice. Nice fat one. And pike number three in our bass fishing outing here at the Menominee River. Not what we came here for, but boy was he fun. And pikey back in. I'm seeing a nice little pool here with possibly some vegetation. I can't quite tell what's on the surface. I think it's time for the popper and a fly rod. Let's hope that these fish want to come to the surface. That would be a lot of fun. Came across a beautiful looking pool. It has top water written all over it. Oh, there we go, we got off. Had a little bit too much slack line. And there it is, second cast with the popper. Come on, that wall's gotta hold some fish. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, so much slack, bad hook set. That was a huge swirl. Switched over to my favorite frog popper. Easier to cast, right now it's, doesn't look like it, but it's really gusty and windy and I can't quite get some fly casts off. So I'm gonna try this popper and hope that we can get some action and control. Oh my God, first cast. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. There we go. There's a fish. I don't know what that is. It's big. It's a pike. Look at the size of that one. That one's bigger. Almost looked like a muskie for a second. Whoa. I knew that shoreline looked good. He's not done fighting yet. Come here. Oh man. He's fat. He's about to spit that out of his mouth. Okay. Big pike got him out using a steel leader with that popper and that helped in the biggest pike of the day. There he is. Look at that. Crush that topwater popper. That frog popper is my favorite. I've caught so many fish on that. And that was a blast. Going back in. Whoa, what do we got here? What do we have? Oh, big smallie, big smallie. This is what we came here for. Yes, this thing's gotta be, this has gotta be high teens, maybe 20. Oh, he's gonna jump. Oh, okay, okay, let's go. Oh no. This is what we came here for. Let's get him in the net. Come on. He's big. We got him. We got him. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at the size of this thing. First bass of the day and it took a while. We had to weed through about five or six pike. And we got this big boy here. Just crushed it and jumped out of the water a ton. Love it. <laughs> And the beastly smallie going in. Have they been biting for you today? Yeah, good day. Oh, nice. Someone said it's cocktail hour, so. Ah, yes, you gotta have that. It's before the evening bite. <laughs> oh, got him. Okay, that was the cast as long as a football field. Man, what do we have? I think I saw him jump and it was a bass. He's a bass. Yes, another Menominee River bass. What a cool hit. And up by those islands bringing in a bass right now. Come here. Nice bass. Oh, he's got some gnaw marks on his head too. There we go. Oh, 
that was the coolest cast right up against that island. Ooh, and he got just gnawed in the head there by something. Nice bass. Just crushed the frog popper once again. A couple pops, all it took right behind that island. Woo! And let's give it a nice release. Just a beautiful spot here. Let's try it behind this rock out of the current. You got a river coming in right here, the main Menominee River here. Oh, whoa, that was awesome. Oh, yes. And this thing just crushed it. Let's get it. Come on. Oh, let's go. Oh, we got him. We got him. Nice, smally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Got the drone in the air, and he hit right behind that rock. Super cool.